All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you would create an illustration using vector.com um, and maybe even a pattern if you wanted to. So first, I've uploaded these images. I downloaded them from, from Google Images. So then I click right here on the little cloud with the arrow pointing up. And I go to my downloads folder and they're both right there. So I click on it. It places it, then I click on the next one, and it places that. I just position them within the artboard. If you see right here, they're in the little square, which is the artboard. That's your workable area inside of Vector. All right, I'm going to click on my pen tool. And some shapes you could create by combining a variety of shapes, but these two I'm going to create using the pen tool. All right, I'm going to start by outlining. Remember, click and let go, click and let go creates a straight line, but click and drag. So for example, right here, I'm going to hold command because I want this to be a curved line. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that right there and put a point right at the middle that has the curve. You can see it has the two handles that are similar. So then when I click over here, it goes back to a straight line. There you go. Click and drag a little. Now, because I'm making an illustration, it doesn't have to be exactly like that shell because each shell is going to be different, but some are going to be easier than others. For example, like these parts right here, the little scallops, a little bit harder. Let's see. Click and pull. Click and pull. Click, click and pull, click. Remember, you could always do Command Z if something doesn't exactly work how you wanted it to. Double click here to continue. Click and pull. And I'm going to go, go back and edit these. But for right now, I'm getting the points exactly where I want them at the top of each one of the scallops. Click and pull, click. Click and pull. Click, click and pull. Click, click and pull. Actually, I put that one in the wrong place. Here, click and pull. Click and pull. You will have to zoom in in some of these sections. So for me, I'm going to zoom in, scroll over. Some reason it's not letting me scroll over. All right, I'll just work from up here then. This one's a little bit of a curve, and then the last one. Once I click here, that shape will be closed. And now I should be able to, yep, now I'm able to, to go back in. Now I could click right here, for example, and edit this part. Because I see that that was a mistake right there. So I could pull this point down here. And I could change this, this handle right here by holding Command. For you guys, it might be Control. Um, I'm on a Mac, so it might be a little bit different. But I can move all those things around. Now, the next thing I want to do is to create the parts of the illustration on the inside. So that might just be a line that I create right here. Right here, put it to a little bit of a curve. Uh, 
Let me show you what it looks like without the images. I should have locked these from the beginning, by the way. But you can see that this will turn out to be that, that part on the inside. For this, I might actually want it to have a fill color and not an actual stroke. Let me see it again with the image. So I could duplicate this. Again, for me, I'm holding control. For you, you might be holding command. Here, or you could do command C, command B. I'm moving this over. I could rotate it because each one of these is going to be rotated slightly. Let's see, command C, command B. Right over here, rotate this. Command C, command B. Let me see it without the image again. Oh. And then if I wanted to, I know it's not it's not fully done. Let me see this one right here. Um, if I wanted to, I could create the the other side just by mirroring these two. Or not these two actually, sorry, these um these lines that I just created. This one looks a little bit long. Click on that. I want to correct it before I actually duplicate it. All right. I'm going to lock this one. Lock it. And I'm going to select all of these lines that I created right there. Now I'm going to do Command C, Command V, and I've just duplicated all of that. And now I could flip it right over here. Now that I flipped it, I could bring this side over and I could finish the that part there. Of course, there's more detail that, that has to be finished. Um, this right here, I want to create a little shadow line. And basically, what you're doing is simplifying the illustration itself to create an iconic image or symbol of what the shell is. I'm not trying to reproduce the, the shell exactly how it is, like looking realistic or anything like that. I'm really just creating something that's going to look similar to the shell in a more stylized look. So background, no border. Again, let's see what it looks like without, oops, let's see what it looks like without the actual image. Maybe that one's a little bit too thick, but again, I could copy, paste, flip it. So you're starting to see how that would look like. The leaf is actually a little bit simpler. All you have to do with the pen tool, click, let go, click, drag. Then right over here, click, let go. This one is click, drag, and then click. Now to create the inside part, again, pen tool. Click, let go. This one might be a click and drag. I'm gonna change it a little bit. Move over here. And now I can move this right over here. I can make this line thicker and actually ch change the color of it if I wanted to. Um, I'd probably make the outside, oops. I make the outside thicker and this part thinner. And then I could create the, the individual lines inside of there. And again, I make these thinner. But you can see by, by hiding the, the images, you can see how that might turn out. You can copy. Paste it. Actually, this one I wouldn't even copy and paste it. It's so simple to, to create each custom line. But if I had an icon that I already liked, for example, if I had this leaf completed, I'm going to move these things over to show you how, how you would just duplicate everything. And I'm going to move this illustration over. 
with the shell. And then I'm going to move this over right over here. So if I wanted just, just my illustration, I would select just that. I'm going to copy, Command C, Command V. And then I'm moving it with the arrow tool. I know it's not finished, but let's say I had this completed, right? I had the color in it. Let's give it a green color. Maybe this color. Okay, this is my my shape now. I'm gonna make sure that this is exactly how I wanted, either rotated or even scaled. And if I wanted this to, to be a pattern, I have it all selected. I do Command G again for you. It might be Control G to group it. And now it's all in one. So I got Command C, Command V. Put another one here. Command C, Command V. Look at the those blue lines that pop up. That's telling you that it's that it's um aligned with the top ones. Command C, Command V. I create one row and then I might want to copy the whole thing. Let me move this over a little bit more. Okay, drag, select these, Command C, Command V. And now I'm actually going to flip these. There you go. So one of them is facing down. The other one is facing up, and actually I might want to Command C, Command V, create this other one right here. All right, and then I could just select these. Like I don't have to do this every time I want to leaf. Now that I have this, Command C, Command V, bring this over here. Select these, Command C, Command V, and every time it's it's doubling the amount that I have. So I have to do less work each time. And there it is. I could change the colors of it, obviously, be before I do all of this so that I don't have to go, go back and do it to each one. I could change the background color by creating a square there. And let's see, maybe I want to have the background be a bluish color. And I should send this to the back. There's a way to actually do that a lot easier. But now you can see I have I have my pattern and I have my background for it. And it really didn't take that long.